when you acknowledge that somewhere along the way, my mind became wired for shame, wired for worry, wired for doubt, wired for insecurity, low self-esteem. Yeah. That's a computer working in your mind that is always going to bring you to the total of you don't belong to be here, the total of see you're not worthy, see you're not valuable. And I have been intentionally kind of rewiring my mind to get yeah. to a place of worthy and not shame. And that does require slowing down. You cannot be on autopilot and have your mind renewed. You cannot right. be on autopilot and see transformation. Your worth and your ability to really believe that worth and be confident in it will not happen unless you slow down the rhythm that has led you to shame, the rhythm that's led you to insecurity and say, I'm gonna change this path, right? It's not working for me. Mm -hmm. feeling insecure, feeling like I'm not worth, uh, like, like I'm not worthy. That doesn't work for me anymore. I want to really lay hold of the promises of God. I want to believe like other people believe. I want to be confident yeah. the way other people are confident. So I'm going to have to change my mind about me. That is the most powerful gift that anyone can give themselves is mm -hmm. the realization that I'm going to change my mind about me and change my mind to start leaning towards the direction of who God says I am. And I have mm -hmm. found that in stillness and peace and meditation that I am able to accept the truth about who God says I am. But whenever my life starts speeding up and I'm like barely holding things together, that's mm -hmm. when I see myself slipping again, feeling unworthy, feeling inadequate because I've allowed the pace to outrun my peace. And what we have to do is find a way to make sure that our pace is in the rhythm of our peace or we got to slow down and change yeah. everything again.